Hello everyone, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to go through two new formulas, and that is finding the area of a trapezium and kite. Okay, let's get started. So hopefully there shouldn't be too much dramas, as I'm not going to go through section A, as you've already done section A, I'm just going to go through section B and section C. So, we know that a trapezium is a four-sided plane shape with at least one pair of parallel sides. As you can see, in this trapezium, side A and side B, they're parallel, and it's indicated by the two arrows. And to work out the area of a trapezium, all you need to do is you need to re remember this formula. So the area is equal to half multiplied by A plus B times H. Okay, so that means you need to add these two sides, A and B, times it by the height, and then divide it by 2. I'm going to go through some examples just to make this more clear. Now, another formula that you're going to remember today, which you've already learnt because it is the same as the area of the rhombus formula, but basically, it's the area of a kite. Now, a kite is a four-sided plane shape with two pairs of equal adjacent sides. So what that means is this. So, so for this kite, so if you pay attention to this kite, so we know that side AB and BC are adjacent and sides AD and DC are also adjacent. And for this example, it says a kite is a four-sided plane shape with two pairs of equal adjacent sides. So, so what that means is AB and BC are the same, and AD and DC are also the same length. So that's basically what a kite is. And to find the area of a kite, the formula is the same as the area of a rhombus, if you still remember. You just have to do half times x times y, where x and y are the diagonals of the kite. So in this case, BD, that's one diagonal, AC, that's the other diagonal. So to find out the area of this kite, you just have to know the length of BD and AC. Okay, let's get started with some examples. So... Let's just do one of the questions for the area of a trapezium. So let's just do question two. Okay. So to find the area of a trapezium, first step, write down the formula. So the formula is area is equal to half times A plus H. I mean, A plus B, sorry, times H. And we need to determine what is A and what is B. So A and B are basically the two parallel sides of the, par uh, of the trapezium. So you can say your first A, your A can be 12. So we write half times 12 plus B. In this case, B is the other parallel side, which is the 18, multiplied by the height. So the height is the line that forms the 90 degree angle with the base, so 14. And there you have it. You've already substituted the numbers, now you just have to type it onto your calculator. So what you should get is 210. Right? So 210 centimeters squared. So just remember, when it comes to finding the area of a tra uh, trapezium, you need to know the top side, you need to know the bottom side, and you need to know the height. Okay. So you need to know these three things to work out the area of a tra trapezium. Alright, let's do one more example just to make it even more clear. Let's do question 8. Okay. So, to work out the area of this trapezium, now, do remember, this trapezium, the two parallel sides are 13 and the 18. Okay, so let's write down the formula. Area is equal to half times A plus B times by H. Now, we know that a and B are the two parallel sides of the trapezium. So A can be 13 and B can be 18. So let's substitute these numbers. And the last step, we have to multiply by the height. So in this case, the height is the 16 because the 16 forms a 90 degree angle with, the, with one of the parallel sides. So you can think of this trapezium as 
similar to question two, but it's rotated 90 degrees. Okay, so type this into our calculator, so you should get 248 centimeters squared. Okay. So I hope this is quite clear, as you just have to remember the, the, the hardest part of these questions is actually memorizing the formula for a trapezium. All right, let's do some more examples. So now we're going to do some examples of the kite, where if you remember from maybe two, three minutes ago, it's same as the formula for the area of a rhombus. So let's take a look at question 10. So, oops. Okay, so remember the area. So when you when it comes to doing these questions, always write the area formula first. Area is equal to half times x times y. Now we know that the length of one of the diagonals, so say BD, is equal to 32, and the length of AC is equal to 24. So the area should equal to half times 32 times 24. So like I said earlier, you do not. it doesn't matter which one you pick as x and which one you pick as y. So if you did a half times 24 times 32, you would get the same answer. So this is your answer, and let's type this onto our calculator. So this should give you 384 square centimeters. Okay, so hopefully that was quite easy. I'm just going to do one more example, so then you get the main idea. Let's do... Question 10, okay? Now, even though this is section C, but I feel like the questions, in terms of the difficulty, is the same as B, section B. The only difference is in section C, they jumble up the questions. So you have some that are trapezium, some that are kites. So let's just take a look at question 10, because this is a kite qu question. So, right. So to do this, remember, to find the area of a kite, you just use the area formula, which equals to half times x times y, where x and y are the diagonals of the kite. So let's see. In this question, it says AC is 13 centimeters, and BD is 27 centimeters. So they've given us the length of the diagonal. So now we just have to substitute the values into this formula. So that's equal to half times doesn't matter which one you pick for x, so I'm just going to pick th um, 13. And for y is the, uh, the other diagonal, so diagonal db, so it's 27. And what you should get is... hundred seventy five point five square centimeters. Okay, so I hope this video was quite clear. And just to uh, summarize, in this video I've explain to you how to find the area of a trapezium and a kite. To find the area of a trapezium, you just need to do half times the two parallel sides added up, multiplied by height. Make sure that when you type this into your calculator, you put a bracket around the A plus B. Okay? And to find the area of a kite, you just simply have to multiply the length of the two diagonals, and then you have to multiply by a half. Okay, so I hope this is quite clear. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Google Classroom. Thank you for watching.